Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get into game two here of this series between Smile and Vor to decide who will be the third place team and who will be the fourth place team here in the international bracket of King of the Sea 13. Spawning into Northern Waters, the north spawn is Smile. This map, they have brought double Ohio, Des Moines, Napoli, double Nevsky, fronted by three destroyers. That's a Gearing, a Daring, and a Ragnar. What is uh, Vor up to on the bottom end of the map there, Stats? On the south side, Vor have a, a Montana again. Um, interesting pick. We might talk about that in a second. Uh, Kremlin, Des Moines, uh, three Moskva, and then three Darings. And currently, each Daring is going to a cap. Um, so we were talking about a little bit about this amongst ourselves between the games, but um, heading like Montana is kind of an unusual pick, especially at the moment with the way the, way the meta's gone in the last couple of tournaments. Um, do you think there are any advantages to bringing a Montana over, say, on Ohio? Like the idea about Montana is it has the bigger broadside with insane alpha with like 12 times 406 millimeter with 13.5k alpha. It, like the, the alpha strike is one of the highest in the games, obviously, apart from like the Mon. Uh, and it doesn't have quite the same overmatch potential. Yeah, the problem is you have troubles with shooting something like the Moines, which are very, very prominent in uh, high level competitive. And, and indeed, uh, we can see a Des Moines over on the other side. So Smile, uh, do you have a Des Moines along with the Napoli heading over towards A? Yeah. Um, but uh, but Montana has range, um, so uh, and a lot of shells. So we'll see what Naomi can do with that. Montana actually uh, is usually played with the range mod on the second, is it second or third slot? Which gives it like 27 mm -hmm. kilometers of range. With uh, Spotter Plane, it gets even more... Yeah, with so that's one where, of the big things. Sitting where this Montana is right now, with the spotter plane up, you can essentially shoot the entire map. I mean, the, um, if as long as there's no islands in the way, everything is fair game. Okay, we've got a smoke train starting over on the north side of the sea camp for Smile, gearing, uh, smoking up the two Nevskis, as the Ragnar of Fairy pushes into the top of the camp. Yep, they've Radar got three shots Nevskis. there on YBB. Um, Radar didn't pick up anything, so they'll currently realize that there's nothing there. With D.Va yeah. being well south of the camp. Vor has taken a very, very weak position south of C. I think they kind of expected this. And, and it's just got the Daring and the Moskva over there. Probably just to kind of keep these guys honest a bit. They've really set up a much stronger position at B. Vor has completely abandoned the B cap. So Renegade's Daring is going to be able to easily pick up the B-Cap, backed up at close range by Asphod Ellis's Moskva and Naomi's Montana. So kind of the central and eastern portion of the board, pretty static for them for the interim, as we tend to see on Northern Waters, the A-Cap is where all, gonna, all the early fun's going to be. And because Vor have gone really heavy on this side, um, well, on A and B, they need to make something happen really quickly. So they have grabbed B, um, but they've got three ships there to do that, what they don't really need, as it turns out. Um, but it's still 4v4 on the A side, so they haven't really got an advantage from going light on Charlie. They need to make these three ships in the middle start to work somehow, either by um, stopping a Smile from going from C to B, uh, or by supporting the A camp. Yeah, and, and you see now they're taking blind shots into the Napoli smoke. They know this trick is coming. As the Napoli and the Des Moines try to use that smoke to get down the one line in behind that critical island. We saw General on this map work his way in there earlier in the day. Um, using a very similar trick uh, against Ban CV. Now, he was able to do it, but man, it cost him a whole bunch of his HP along the way. Radar out from Vors Moskva in the middle of the map there. Um, not picking up anything, I don't think. Mm. Uh, Clanmates in the gearing for Smile is out of range. They caught just a whiff of Classic Noun over here on the bottom end of A and just very quickly took away about 40% of his health. His Torpedo Salvo back on the one line going in on DNO and, and General Vezevki looks really good. They're both going to have to turn away to avoid the torpedoes, and DNO is still going to take one. It's actually big. It prevents the Demon to yes. get to this item comfortably. Yeah, you've, you've just prevented that push. Renegade in the middle, caught by Stepan's radar in the Nevsky. Shells incoming. Renegade running. Uh, that's going to be right on the edge of range. Yep, yeah, Renegade he's out, goes of, out he's, of range. He's dark again. Yep. 
both teams being uh, fairly, I don't want to say standoffish, but taking a fairly long range stance right now. Both the Darings and the A Camp trading shells here, um, both down to 10 and 14k respectively, Smile and Vor. Five minutes gone, Vor on about a 50-ish point lead here, as um, they are growing that lead on the strength of their cap advantage. Smile still looking for a way in at the A Camp, but um, not finding anything yet, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, they're starting to pull stuff back off of the C flank, right? Fairy and Stepan are already kind of moving over towards the middle of the board. Yeah, they've left the gearing in C to contest against the daring um, of four. It's a very strong play, I like that. They're going to try, and they've left the Nevsky there as well to support the gearing, which is quite nice. Um, yeah. Be interesting to see what they do with Maniac. I'm kind of, I'm half expecting Maniac to start moving across a little bit, but Maniac is going to be looking, of course, into the middle of the map. Oh, Rishia's oh, Demoid. Oh, I didn't see where the shells just, came from. That was the Ohio, that was, that was Ryder. That was Ryder. Just took a brilliant shot, just lobbed him right over the island and took away half his remaining HP. Big hit. Yeah, Rishia over peaking just a little bit there. And that's great timing because the Des Moines and the Napoli of DNO Gaming uh, are just about to push down to the island. So yep. having that Des Moines, they've, having taken that big uh, hit, is going to really help with that push. They, they formed up for the second go, and this time they're going to make it. General's going to take some more damage to get there. Probably DNO will as well, but I don't think they've got the ships to prevent this at this point. Kremlin Shell's coming in on General's bow. We'll have to see how those pull, unplay, unfolded, but nope, nothing major. Hmm. Maniac's also got shells in on uh, Aruha's Des Moines, but uh, that volley didn't do any damage at all. Dark Temple will push up to counter this double cruiser push from the north. As Maduka, Maduska is back onto A for Smile, Aruha's Des Moines radar going up to try and drive him away. Even though no one's even shooting at Maduska right now, he's still leaving the cap. Oh, Daring and shells Classic there. Now coming across to support. I suspect we'll see Classic Now go all the way across to the edge of the border to put Torps in across the uh, edge of the island there where the Napoli and the Des Moines are sitting. I am not sure if the Montana from Bill can actually lob to that Napoli Des Moines right now. I don't, that, I don't believe that I don't believe that he can because they're just the angle to him includes this actually no, he can. I'm watching some of them fall in now. He doesn't land anything, but now he does have a shot there as they try to focus out Dark Temple between, well, just about everybody that can get shells on it. I think the is kind of oh. stuck on the walk there. Yeah, General looks pretty, he looks a little tucked in. Dark Temple does make it to the island. One fire burning on the back end of the superstructure. Uh, that's going to stop the uh, spam from the Ragnar and the Daring from hitting. Uh, but there is a gap in the island just to the northeast of Dark Temple, and the Ohio and the Nevsky can actually potentially lob shots in there. The Ohio definitely has done. Coming up on 700 points there for for Vor. Smile continuing to fall further behind. Their inability to break into the A cap, punishing them early here, and they're on the risk. They they've got one ship that's pretty low. Well, both teams have a ship that's pretty low on that flank. Some critical salvos coming up over the next couple of minutes. Or do currently have the points and the caps lead, but this position on A is looking kind of fragile. It's, it's very tenuous. Um, once Dark Temple goes down, I think even if if Smile lose that Des Moines as well, I, I think they're going to be able to then take and hold A, potentially. It might be fine, though, because C is contested constantly, and they have just have B taken mm. for them. That is true. There comes, there okay. comes Naomi with the final shell. Dark Temple goes dark, dark Temple, yeah. he, he is dark, but he's still got Ohio shells falling in because who is that? That's Maniac's been taking shots for a while. Some of those are Medu Medusco's mm -hmm. APs coming in as well, and now he's healing. Riders Ohio is pushing all the way down the one line to make sure they get this kill on Dark Temple. Yeah, they've they've got to get this kill on Dark Temple. Like this, their whole game pretty much hinges on it at this stage. It They're gonna get shot. it right here, I think. There it is. So with a 220 point lead, Smile finally claims the one line and is going to um, try to get into A, but is it enough? Yanaya is currently in a bit of a risk now. Yanaya needs to start reversing and angling towards the Ohio. 
WCG is oh, waiting for his guns to reload. He's got a great shot on Yanaya. Here it comes. Ooh. Solid. Solid. A good 20k yeah, that... chunk there. <laughs> Yanaya's going to feel that in the morning. You can't, you can't broadside in Ohio like that. I think the problem was that as as the Ohio pushed around the corner, Yanaya was still going forwards and so had to stop yeah. the momentum yeah. and then start reversing and it just took too long. Yeah, he had pushed up into a, a nice aggressive position to support his teammates, but he ends up costing him a chunk of his HP there. WC, WCG throwing more shells down at him. Probably should get some full pens out of this. Does get a couple. An eye under 10k and falling. Ryder's going to dodge those torps handily. Ryder taking incoming from the Daring and the other Daring and the Des Moines. Not enough. So paying, paying quite heavily for that, but they do get the kill. Vor has all of this firepower on this side of the map, and Smile has still managed to pick up two kills and push them off the ACAP. So they're going to take uh, the ACAP now. Renegade is now in trouble in the middle Renegade's of the map. Renegade's in big Vor. trouble, yeah. Big trouble, yikes. Yeah, Ren Renegade did not exit quickly enough, I think, then. Oh, looks like a mistake's going to cost him his ship, and it does. A two-ship lead, and they're about to have a cap lead. Yeah, Renegade was there to uh, try and get as much damage on Ryder as possible along with the other ships. Um, and maybe could have just ducked out a little bit quicker. And now that's going to shock the Ohio and B to stop the points gain completely. Maniac, yep, just crossing the border into the cap. Uh, Naomi's Montana is going to push forward as well to counter that. Eight minutes to play in Aruha. Yeah, I was going to say Aruha is pinned between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea between both Ohio's looking at him. And uh, he doesn't make it. Smile takes the lead for the first time this match. The Moscow middle is in trouble as well. Both Ohio's are looking at him. That's it. Nah, that's 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 right there. Here we yep, see a replay what... of Aruha going down there. Okay, Naomi versus Maniac. A close range. Um, if the Ohio angles slightly, of course, the secondaries are going to be able to get good fire down on that Mosfa. It, 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 it feels like just piranhas see, circling for their final feast right now, watching Smile deal with these guys in the B cap. Yeah, these, these two guys in, in B are just pushing him to certain death, really, because... You're surrounded. You're completely surrounded. Yeah. They're going to take There's, down the you, cruiser first. There is nowhere to go for cover. Like, you have and, none. And honestly, it, if uh, Naomi wants the ram, Smile will just take that. Well, and Smile looks like they're just going to go get it to make sure go that, that nothing, anyway. no, yeah, yeah. nothing crazy happens. They want to just go ahead and get this kill, take the ship off the board, make sure that uh, something strange don't occur. Maniac getting a lovely shot into the side of Naomi. Ramming anyway. That is a great trade for Smile. 850 points just about on the board. Ragnar will dip into B. Uh, C has just been contested. These two these two poor destroyer players right. over on C. They've but I mean, been, that's... Uh, once they pulled everything off of this flank, that was what the C cap was destined to go. All of the action was, was going to be on the other side of the map, and it's worked out just pretty much... As the script intended, once uh, Smile yep. picked it up. Yep. Sometimes as a uh, tournament player, you just have to sit there and, and just contest or uh, that's true. Just hold a position. While it's the rest it's of a big. It's, it's that's right. It's a big map. Everybody has their job to do. Right. Sometimes your job is not exciting, but it's still your job. Well, I can tell you stories about that. I, I'm sure you can. <laughs> right. Like I haven't played. I haven't actually played competitive in a very long time, but I remember well remember playing a lot of Benson back in the old Supremacy League where it's like your job is to sail around, spot things and smoke up battleships that would be back in the air before smoke got changed. Right. Oh, yeah. The angry, the angry smoke, smoke clouds. Two, yeah. 2.5 right. kilometers away from you. You can't see jack e shit. Exactly. Angry smoke clouds throwing shells at each other. Smile now seconds away from a 2-0 sweep here. They're going to be your third place team here in King of the Sea, 13, as Vor will claim the fourth place prize. And um, in just a few, a few minutes, at some point, we will be heading on to see the big final, the all EU final. I know you guys are excited between Shaft and Ban CV. Congratulations to Vor, uh, to Smile here. They did a really good yeah. job. 
Yeah, these guys yeah, played was... great today. Both teams looked really good. Yeah, yeah. very decisive game there from Smile. Um, and yeah, they're our third place uh, team. Very excited to see this EU final. So we're going to go back to Prague, <laughs> um, talk about what we've uh, just had in this third place match and uh, get ready for the grand event.